Corn field. Everybody screws up, or a lot of people screw up, trying to fish corn field shots. They go, well, there was this big upwelling out there, and I went out and fished it, there wasn't nothing there, you know, it lied to me. No, it didn't. If you'd have been fishing for phytoplankton, you'd probably call the bugs. <laughs> because that's really, that's really what chlorophyll is showing you. It's showing you elevated chlorophyll levels in the water column. All right? These, these elevated chlorophyll levels are generated by upwellings that are dragging the nutrients up to the surface. You expose it to sunlight, you get phytoplankton. I don't know about you guys, I've got a picture of me holding my phytoplankton. You know what I mean? And then a couple of days later, I caught me a zooplankton. And a couple of days later, I caught me a little murder. <laughs> All right. The whole key, the whole key to chlorophyll is multiple day upwellings. The very first day that I see an upwelling somewhere, I ain't even gonna bother to go fish on. I ain't even gonna bother any score, not even figure into what I'm doing. The second day that I see it, the second day. If I happen to be in that area, I'll go on over there and go fish on. <laughs> when we hit that third, fourth, fifth, sixth day, there is the first stop that morning. That is, that is, I'm hauling butt that way. So what you got to do is you got to go look at it and you go, hey, I see an upwelling right there. What you got to do is you got to go backwards a day and look and see if it was there yesterday. And then you got to go back another day and see if it was there then. And then go back another day and see if it was there then. <clears throat> Because if it's the first day, all you're going to catch here is phytoplankton. <laughs> all right? You have got to wait for it to go through the life cycle to get the predators. Because you and I are all fishing for predators, right? I mean, that's the, we want the stuff that's at the top of the food chain, <laughs> not at the bottom. So we've got to have time to get through this. Next. Yeah, they, uh, can you point out where the upwelling on there? All right, so... Everybody look right here along the coastline. Can y'all see the elevated chlorophyll levels? Man, there must be a lot of fish right along the beach, huh? Guess what that is, guys? That's people poop. <clears throat> All right? After any rainstorm, you're going to see these huge plumes of <coughs> chlorophyll coming out of the Cape Fear River, out of the inlets, out of any, uh, right along the coastline. That's people poop, pig poop, dog poop. Uh, crap we throw in the water, street runoff, all that stuff. Any of you guys put too much fertilizer on your yard, that's what you're seeing right there. All right? Just like when I had, used to have a 125-gallon fish tank, and in that fish tank, if the nitrogen levels got too high, the fish died. Same sort of deal. There's a bunch of nitrogen in the water. It's a bunch of food that's in the water. This right here is not what holds fish. This right here is what holds fish. You see this? There's obviously an upwelling here. I would bet you that there's probably a swirling in here, and there's an upwelling where it's hidden, hidden something right through here, and you can almost see it, and it's being blown off this way. You see what I'm talking about? Where it's coming up real high right here, and it's kind of dissipating, moving in this direction. This is the oldest part of it. This is the youngest part. So if you're fishing for, well, and I should tell you this, there's actually a big debate amongst people like me whether you fish the source of the upwelling or the edge of the upwelling. To give you an example here, this right here would be the source of the upwelling right here. You see where the plume's coming out? Okay. The, the question is, do you fish the source? Do you fish the edge? Me personally, I'm an edge guy. I want to be where where those elevated levels have been the longest. Versus a source guy, because to me, there's more, more likely going to be zooplankton there or phytoplankton there. Now there are others in, in, in the world that are going to tell you, no, you want to fish the source because it's been pumping up there the whole time. You know, which way to do it? You know, I'm going to leave it up to you. I'll tell you tell you both sides of the story. Okay. So if I may, the, the yellow is Absolutely. the yellow in that in that green shot. The yellow, which you just pointed out, is what you're talking about. Yes, sir. Okay. This, this is an elevated area of chlorophyll. Okay. Got it. Okay.